Welcome to Express, the Alfie podcast, where industry leaders express their points of view on topics that affect the fund industry in Luxembourg and around the world. Today, I welcome Keith Berman from State Street, co-chair of the Alfie Real Estate uh, Subcommittee. We'll talk about REEFs, real estate investment funds. What is their importance among the alternative investment funds? How do they compare to hedge funds, to private equity? Well, real estate in Luxembourg has grown substantially over the last 10 years and now represents a very significant part of the worldwide real estate scene. In an Oliver Wyman study that Alfie commissioned on alternative fund domiciles earlier this year, uh, we discovered that real estate in Luxembourg represented 16% of the vehicles that are available worldwide, which is a much higher number than for the hedge fund and the private equity sectors. What makes Luxembourg competitive in this area? Well, I think Luxembourg has always been very um, instrumental in facilitating investment flows across border. And what uh, the real estate industry has managed to do is construct multinational, multi-sector funds here in Luxembourg that can invest not only in a single country or in a single type of real estate asset such as offices, but in uh, a wide variety of assets and in a huge number of countries. They're predominantly invested in Europe. But we do have funds here in Luxembourg that invest in the Americas, in Asia, uh, and so on. Alfie published the 2012 version of its uh, annual uh, REEF survey. It's already the seventh edition. What trends can you identify from this survey? Well, this is a survey that's been going for a number of years. And uh, each year we go out and we collect data just on the regulated fund sector. And what we have seen, encouragingly, for 2011, that there was continued activity despite the financial crisis. So we've seen a further 26 funds being launched during the year. Uh, those continue to use the, the traditional Luxembourg vehicles, such as the SIF and the Part 2 fund. And uh, they're being used in a variety of ways. They're generally offered to institutions. They generally tend to be closed-ended funds. But I say generally, all of the different flavors are available in the Luxembourg market. One more specific question uh, at the end. AIFMD permits a non-credit institution to act as a depository to reefs. Do you think that the funds will appoint these service providers? Well, this is definitely an option that's been made available in the Luxembourg Bill implementing AIFMD. So yes, we would expect that to, to come through a, as a service option for funds. If uh, funds are able to um, choose between both the, the banking industry who provides not only the depository service for real estate but perhaps cash and some credit services, that'll be one option. But on the other hand, if they don't require those additional services, then the idea of taking a depository oversight from a non-bank provider is an option that may be attractive. I thank you very much. Thank you.